Hello YouTube, this is basically a two-step video and it is in my opinion a video of not only a six-month review of the Vizio V-Series 65 inch but it's also a video stating the best TV of 2020 from an affordable standpoint. Um, this TV goes on sale regularly and at any given point in time can be bought for $500, um, sometimes cheaper. For Black Friday, this TV went on sale for, I believe, $300 or so. Now there's two different Vizio V-Series. This is the one in the orange box. There's also one in a red box. The one in the orange box is a step ahead. We'll use that as the thumbnail for this video. Um, but just an idea, this TV has good sound, not the best, that is in fact the worst thing about it, but it is still good. It's not as great as you're gonna get on a thousand dollar TV, um, but it is still good. You know, TVs nowadays lack in the sound department in a way, I feel, because the sound is coming from the back of the TV. Um, as opposed to good sound quality, that's great, not necessarily volume. That's generally what I feel as if you miss out on now. The Vizio V-Series TV out of the box comes with all sorts of features compared to a bunch. You get airplay right from the beginning. I would cast my phone over to it directly right now, but I'm technically recording this video on it. But I can also cast my Mac and my iPad, anything device like that. Um, this TV also has Chromecast built in. It's up there right next to airplay. You can see it just right here. And then you get one of the typical Chromecast loading screens. Um, this TV is also Alexa compatible. Um, she can turn the television on and off. Uh, it can change the volume of the TV, change the channel. It can even open apps. Uh, for instance, Alexa, open, open Netflix on living room TV. Getting Netflix from Disney. Simple as that. That's a lot more features than you get out of things. You know, it took Siri a long time to be able to open an app on your cell phone. And you know, we're starting out, it's built in on the TV. Um, this TV comes with tons of apps already installed, so you don't have to install all the basics, but it has all the basics. Netflix, Prime, YouTube, YouTube Video, Hulu, yada, yada, yada. You can have all those things put on. But overall, I've had this TV for six months. It's fast, I don't have trouble with it buffering. Um, now I've read some comments that some people did, but a lot of times that's based, based on their network, not the TV itself. Um, I even bought my mother this TV. Uh, she, she loves it. Uh, Overall, the Vizio V-Series is, in my opinion, the best bang for your buck. Um, for instance, I believe it's the Samsung 7 Series that is uh, right in the same price range as this TV, and I would pick the Vizio over that any day. I have a Samsung TV also. It's the MU6500 from a long time ago. It was well over a $1,000 TV when I purchased it. Um, and this is a very comparable TV. Um, now, this one's not curved like my Samsung, but... Uh, <laughs> Overall, Vizio has come a long way. Um, when they first came out, they were the affordable TV, and I really think they've taken a step to compete with others. Uh, but the Vizio V-Series is, in my opinion, the most bang for your buck. You will not get a better TV for $500. If you comment on this video talking about all these other brands are better and things like that, which there's gonna be tons of them, but for the price, you will not find a better one. If you want top of the line, then spend two, three thousand dollars um, Don't go halfway. Um, because you're going to get all the quality of a thousand dollar TV out of this Vizio right here. So, uh, yeah, guys, check it out. The Vizio V-Series. Thanks.